Well, let's go ahead and bring up the first topic of the day. First topic of the day. And it's not even something that I'm usually excited about because I'm not just into horror like that, you know. But I am in, y'all heard me talk about slashes and stuff like that. And that has to do with Halloween. I have this report right here from Variety. It says uh, Halloween kills to premiere on Peacock and in theaters on the same day. And guys, just to let you know, again, that uh, if you're watching this via live on the replay, there's a link down to this article down in the description box for you to read at your own leisure. And while you're doing all that and stuff like that, let me go ahead and bring in my first guest of the show today. Dude right here is super cool, very knowledgeable on films and television and all that good stuff, does live shows. And y'all know him as Mr. Elliot from Movie Files. How are you doing, my brother? How are you doing today? Doing good, man. But it was like Spectrum, man. They've been messing with you today, Brandon. What's 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 going on, Spectrum? What's up, man? It's, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I pay my bills. I'm nice to people. I, I, to customer <laughs> service, I'm polite. You know, I do the surveys when yeah. we finish conversations, but... The internet guys just was not um I'm in my favor today, man. But I'm here right now, still trying to make it. So yes, sir. You know, and thank you, thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it, my brother. I do appreciate it. No doubt, man. Perfect timing too, because this is this is my boy. Michael's yeah. my guy. He's my guy. All right, all right. And, and before we, I pass it to you, man, just want to let y'all know. Of course, y'all know this is Elliot. Follow him on social media. His handle is on the screen. Of course, all of his information is down in the description box below. And like always, he is part of the fam over on my channel tab. And so make sure you show him some love. But yeah, man, we got this first topic right here from Variety. Halloween Kills. And I got all these ads in the way. But uh, OK, Halloween Kills to premiere on Peacock and in theaters on the same day. This is by Rebecca Rubin. And Halloween Kills, the upcoming entry into the Universal Slasher franchise, will debut on uh, Peacock on the same day as its theatrical release. Starring Jamie Lee Curtis as the avenging teen babysitter turned grandmother, Laura Strode, Halloween Kills is scheduled to debut on October the 15th. And, you know, this I, I'm, I'm very surprised by this, to be honest with you, uh, Elliot. Yeah. And um, the reason why is we just got this news that um, Shang-Chi is doing great at the box office. Yeah. And we're going to be talking about that later. So I don't want to get too detailed right now. So I'm just thinking that this was uh, a for sure certain ironclad that, hey, all these upcoming films that are about to be released are going to be going straight to theaters, um, you know, so mm -hmm. they can get their box office dollars. But apparently Universal and Peacock feel different about this. So. <laughs> Yeah. How do you feel about this, man? Do you think they're making a a, um, um, a good decision, a bad decision about this doing day and day? Tell, tell us how you feel, man. Tell us how you feel. Yeah, man. This this is a weird one. Uh, just first thing that comes to mind is I remember this film um, was slated to come out last year, right? And right. Um, now the, a year later, the decision to have it on a streaming service. And what was the point of delaying the film a year if you're just going to put it on a streaming service in the first right. place? Uh, and, and as you just mentioned with Shang Chi, I mean, it's just like um, you know, if that film, obviously with the budget that it has, over a hundred and something million, this film, I know Michael Myers doesn't. This film shouldn't cost no more than. 20 25 million dollars it would have easily right. made that in the in the box office in, in the opening weekend uh me myself being a huge michael myers fan it's halloween it's the sequel to a pretty successful uh reboot sequel of asserts of, of, of three years ago this is mind-boggling i don't have peacock maybe uh, you know i'll try to look at it and in their perspective as, as a business decision that they really haven't had the the, the i guess the the movie to really have a big boom for a streaming service i don't know if peacock's doing that well uh so I, this this to me is very odd this is very strange very silly uh because this was going to kill it literally pun intended at the box <laughs> office and, and i don't know what they're thinking about this on this to to me it screams they don't have confidence in the film if i'm being honest with you yeah um so you know i was kind of thinking that first um and y'all know i love the box office i just got to share this real quick the first one this came out in 2018. look at those numbers man yeah yeah uh god dog look I at didn't that, know it was that shit. <laughs> yeah man oh, it don't, it don't cost a, a thing god. to make these movies man let me make that super big so y'all can see it 10 million dollars yeah, i thought jamie lee curtis was worth more than that uh apparently not oh hey. i took it off 
Uh, it's like I got a discount. This is this is the this is the the franchise that brought me to lie. I'll give you guys a discount, five finger discount to come and yeah, do it. Coming man. back because <laughs> um the actors the the perform actors actresses salaries is part of the production budget. So mm-hmm. I assume that Jamie Lee Curtis was getting bank. You know what I'm saying? But but before I give my commentary, let me just address the super chat real quick. Uh, you know, because I don't want that to um go away. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. Oh- the AMBW channel five dollar super chat. Thank you so much. Unpopular opinion equals Batman and Robin is still better than Batman Forever. Fight me on this. Um, you may be right. They were both horrible. <laughs> um, I don't remember. Um, yeah. you know, but thank you for the super chat. LA, do you remember which one was better or worse? Uh Batman and Robin. That was George Clooney versus Val Kilmer, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was Batman Forever the one with Freeze? Was Freeze? That was, was, that, that, was, that, was that that one? I, I can't. I honestly, man, it's like PTSD with those films. I try to right. blank them and suppress them out, so I can't uh, really remember which uh, one is which. I understand. I understand. <laughs> but thank, thank you so much for the support, yeah, man. man. Um, I, I really do appreciate that. Um, now I, again, like I was saying, I'm, I'm really confused on this. Uh, like you said, but I yeah. was just kind of thinking to myself. And I don't have the information in front of me to provide you guys, so that's unfortunate. But I think that Peacock is just doing trash as far as uh, subscriptions yeah. are concerned. Like, yeah. you know, uh, I heard that they have like 50 million, but then like only 20 million to actually pay for it or or mm. actually use it. And then like maybe five million people only um, they you know, they only uh, pay for it or something like that. So right, right, that's right. kind of weird. But let, let, let's see what our, our second guest of the show has to feel about this. Y'all know him as the stock market master genius. Nah, just, that is Mr. Lamont Tyson with Life Games. How you doing, guy. my brother? I'm good, man. You got to quit telling these people I'm a stock market master because hey, hey. It, it went, you can you can give people 10 correct stock predictions. And if one of them fail, you are a-hole. So <laughs> we, we, we're just going to keep it low on the low, low. You know, make them gains quietly. Already, bro. Already. I, I'll, try to, I'll try to hold back. Uh, but thank y'all so I mean, thank y'all. Thank you so much for being here, my brother. I do appreciate of course, it. Of course. Y'all know this is Lamont Life Gains. He is um, what's up, E? What's up, man? Chilling. His, man. Uh, his 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 information is in the description box and on my channel tab. Let me pass to you, my brother. We mm-hmm. um uh, we me and me and Elliot are kind of kind of confused right now. We got this article from Variety. They're right. saying Halloween Kills is not going to um uh, theatrical release only. It's it's going to a uh, day and date on Peacock, you know, same day. Uh, coming out next month. I was kind of thinking, well, since Shang Chi did so well at the box office, that that's an indicator that people will go see it. But yeah. Universal Peacock, they feel different, you know. Mm. Um, and it, it made money. If you see this, I mean, it, it ten million dollars this worldwide, you know. And so uh, it also was received well. Mm-hmm. But uh, I want to ask you, Lamont, do you think this is a good idea from Universal to release it on streaming and in theaters at the same time, or do you, you think they should do the theatrical release only? How, how you feel? Um, I'll give you my personal bias. I'm personally biased as one of these people who feels like right now we should have a dual model just because we should. We should have a dual model because for years, the richest people among us have been able to get these movies in their home theaters and watch them, but they pay a huge premium. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why Peacock is doing it is not because that particular situation I said but they are struggling like hell to get them numbers up on the app. Now, Peacock is um, NBC, which, of course, deals with Universal. And I don't think that they will be doing this type of model for long. I think the reason they're doing it right now is because they're trying to get buzz around getting their subscription numbers up. They're trying to be a major player in the subscription war that is being dominated by Netflix and Disney. And they just want people to know that, hey, we're going to have these big ticket items that you might be able to see in the future on our streaming service. And while you're here, we're also doing football. So come check us out. Right on, right on. Uh, I want to address this, Kev. Uh, why do we need it to go to theaters? Or well, one, I don't think you're going to be making that much money right now if you go to streaming just because um, one is piracy. Um, I mean, to me, there's all, it's all, for the most part, it's always been a proven model that, you know, theatrical release, that's what, makes the dollars uh the big money but piracy is a big thing um now this is a much cheaper film than black widow which yeah. you know which i'm comparing it to by a lot 
So I, I may not be able to compare it, but, um, you know, if, if you if a family of four go, well, if one person goes to the theater by themselves, that's ten dollars, um, you know, but, you know, the family thing that you can you can save money. But if if uh, if you invite friends over and they just pay for one subscription thing and then, uh, you know, you have a whole bunch of people coming over to the crib watching it off that one subscription that premiere package you know that that's uh tickets that are not being bought at the theater so you're not making as much money in the long run and so i mean that's just my take on it yeah. i could be wrong um, i do have a oh i'm sorry go ahead Elliot. no i was just kind of i was looking at their most recent slate in regards to just how did how left field this came and that's why i think it, it does play in a little bit to the criticism of the film because it did premiere at venice this, this week and the the reception wasn't that great i'm looking at films like the fur the uh the purge forever which would have been a, a great launching pad to if you're going to try this model why not have that film which did not do well at, at all successfully that seems like a streaming straight to streaming movie uh m night Shyamalan's old could have been a a good f a film to kind of test it out and then last you know a couple weeks ago we had candy man so to me i i'm very confused on why this is the test dummy uh to have this model day in day out with the with other three other horror films that probably would have destroyed it at the uh the streaming services in regards to when they came out so i'm very confused and i really do think it's lack of confidence of this film if i'm being honest but i don't know man this is a strange call I got you. Uh, was you was, was, was you about to say something else, Lamont? Yeah, I was going to ask. Um, are they are they doing some kind of a markup on this, or is it just going to come with the basic pass package? Um, how are they trying to monetize this movie that they're going to do the dual approach of streaming and in theater? It's a good question. Um, the scary sequel will be available to Peacock Premium subscribers at no extra fee. Oh, no extra oh. fee. The service launched in 2020, runs at five dollars a month for a uh, ad supported tier and 9.99 without advertisements. Uh, so that's a little bit of info right there. Um, mm -hmm. other than that, my brother, um, Halloween Kills is the latest in long pandemic air releases to deviate from standard theatrical rollout. Since so, movie theater attendance has remained low, traditional Hollywood studios such as Warner Brothers and Disney have opted to put many of the biggest simultaneously on big screen and streaming platforms. Yeah, those are bigger movies, though, that people yeah. are salivating at the mouth to see. But, I mean, you know, Halloween and horror, it does have its cr crowd, too. So I don't want to hit on it too much. But to answer your question, I don't really know, Lamont. <laughs> um, mm. It looks like they're not. Based on what you just read, it looks like if you have the premium subscription, um, you're going to be able to watch it. Yeah. And I, I think that that's silly. Um, now... <laughs> I'm not for these companies that are doing this to lose revenue. If you're going to do it, I think you should mark it up. However, the only reason I think they're doing this behavior, they're making this a loss leader as a way to attract more people to get the subscription service. That's the only logical reason they could be doing this because the numbers are terrible right now for that subscription service in terms of people getting the premium version of their service. Right on, right on, right on. So we're gonna we're gonna see what's going on with Halloween. Um, hopefully, it will be successful. You know, I thought the first film that came out in 2018 was pretty decent. I wasn't in yeah. love with the ending, but you know, I didn't hate it. You know, and so and they um, shot this one and the last one back to back, so that makes it even more stranger mm -hmm. that they uh, <laughs> this really? on streaming, considering that the third one's already shot and in uh, you know in in, in production now, or let's say final production now. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Wow! Very odd now, decision, man. Okay, mm -hmm. now...